हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स इन ट्रिक नंबर टू डबल वन वी शेल कंटिन्यू आवर सीरीज ऑफ ट्रिक्स ऑन जोमेट्री दिस टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड सम टेंजेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ए सर्कल नाउ एज यू ऑल मस्ट बी नोइंग दैट ए टेंजेंट इज बेसिकली ए लाइन विच टच द सर्कल एट जस्ट वन पॉइंट ना सपोज इफ आई ड्रॉ ए लाइन लाइक दिस now this line is touching the circle at this point p say line l and the center of the circle is o so this line l is known as a tangent so a tangent touches the circle at a single point now let us understand some of the properties of these tangents now the first basic property of a tangent is that this point of contact where the tangent is touching the circle p if you join this point of contact with the center of the circle that is op now this is the radius of the circle so the radius op will always be perpendicular to the tangent l so if you draw one tangent and from the point of contact you draw a radius these two lines will always be at 90 degree angle to each other very important and very basic property of a tangent the second property now in the second property you take a point anywhere outside the circle say i have taken a point p which lies outside this circle or in the exterior of the circle now from p i draw one tangent like this which touches this circle at point a so the length of the tangent is p a now from p i draw another tangent which touches the circle at point b now from an external point you can draw only two tangents to a circle i cannot draw a third tangent from this point p because either i can go like this down or like this up i cannot come in the middle because in that case the tangent will cross the circle and touch it at more than one point so only two tangents can be drawn to a circle from an exterior point so these tangents pa and tv from the external point p these two tangents are always equal in length so if you measure from p to this point of contact a and from p to this point of contact b the length of these two tangents will always be equal another very important property for competitions and for class 10th and above students the length of two tangents drawn from an external point are always equal third property now suppose again i have a point p in the exterior and i draw the tangent pa just like in this figure and another tangent pb now from this point of contact a i draw the radius and from this point of contact b also i draw a radius now we have a quadrilateral oa pb in this figure the angle between the two tangents that is angle p and angle between these two radii that is angle aob these angles angle p the angle between the two tangents and the angle between the two radii these two angles will always be supplementary that is their sums will always be 180 degree now you can understand it in a very simple way using this property i had told you that radius and tangent are always perpendicular so this angle is 90 this angle is 90 
so if you use angle sum property of a quadrilateral you will derive this result that the angle made by the tangents and the angle between the radii will always be supplementary that is their sum will be 180 degree this is the third property now come to the fourth property now for the for the fourth property i am again taking a point p in the exterior of this circle and from p i am drawing a tangent the point of contact suppose this point is t now pt is the tangent and from p i am drawing a line which is intersecting the circle at two points now this is a and this is b this line which starts from the external point and intersects the circle at two points this is a secant now here i have one tangent pt and one secant pab so if you have one tangent and one secant then they can be related using a important relationship the square of tangent that is pt square will always be equal to the distance of point a from p that is pa and the distance of point b from p that is pb just take their product this relationship will always be true in case of a tangent and a secant so you get a lot of questions on this wherein you are given the length of either the tangent or one part of the secant and you are asked to find find the unknown part of these three so this is a property relating to tangent and secant now for the final property i am taking two secants now see this is point p again this is in the external uh, exterior of the circle and i will now try to draw two secants say this is p a b this is one secant and i draw one more secant say p c d now unlike in this figure i had one tangent and one secant here i have two secants now let us take the distance of a from p that is pa distance of b from p that is pb and take their product similar to this i have written the product of the distance of a from p and distance of b from p and now do the same thing with the other secant take the distance of c from p that is pc and distance of d from p that is pd and take their product these lhs and rhs will always be equal in case of two secants so these are five very important properties of a circle and tangent and using these properties you can solve a number of problems which come in competitive exams that of finding some particular angles or the length of tangent or a particular length when a tangent and a secant or two secants are given so keep learning these amazing geometry videos for better understanding of the geometrical portion and share and subscribe the channel if you like it